Hello everybody and welcome back. Thank you for joining me once again. This is 8-Bit Adventures 2 demo. We're continuing our little mini series on the Steam Game Festival demos. We're checking a few of them out over the next coming weeks to see what you should wish list. And here is one of them that came up that looks pretty good. So we're gonna check it out. Let's press our button to continue. So we've got a couple levels. It looks like we could check. I think probably the best thing we should just start out in the prologue and see what it's all about. There is an options menu. It doesn't give us a whole lot of options, but it is a basic option menu. If you would like to explore that. Okay. Well, that's kind of nice pixel art. So we're in a desert, it looks like. A Critical Games production, okay. This, I don't know, I'm not sure. I almost feel that it's going too slow here. There, It's neat, I like the kind of the, the showing, the intro here, but I think that the text and the pictures probably could be combined to make, to quicken this up a little bit. That looks like us right there. Let's see what we can do. We are in fact in a desert and it's, I'm impressed. I like the, there's a lot of little things already. I like that little skeleton over there. It just automatically immediately gives us kind of a, a foreboding uh, warning that this is a dangerous place. And then the uh, sand, I don't know how well that's coming across on the recording, but there is a little bit of a, like a sand blowing across the screen which is kind of cool as well see what we've got up here not a whole a lot it looks like okay so i can't go over those holes uh-oh that skeleton just moved and skeletons are not supposed to move as a general rule that's you know i don't know that's just my thought there okay that's kind of cool i liked that okay so what do we got let's attack Let's do a, wait, wait, 25% less damage, but better hit percent. Okay, more damage and a lower hit percent. That's kind of interesting. I like that option to pick your different attacks. That's really cool. So well, let's just go normal and see what it does. That thing is ginormous compared to us. And it appears also that we are facing away from it. If you look at our image, our little guy down at the bottom, just above the HP and the AP, it looks like he's facing towards us. So it almost looks like he's running away. There should be a backward image there. So you are facing your attacker. Let's try a strong attack and see what it does. Well, critical with the strong attack. That's cool. Oh, I like how that cracked the screen there. That was kind of cool. Okay, let's go with a, a normal one. He's almost dead, it looks like. Let's, there we go. That was pretty cool. I liked that. Victory. You got 250 experience and 75 gold. A potion as well. Interesting. Whew. We do not know who I am yet. That's interesting. Typically, you do know, like, right off the bat who you are as the character. But at least I know the computer was right. What? This is the place. It has to be. Xanthus Desert. Right trigger does something? Oh, okay, right trigger lets me run. Well, that's kind of cool. That's kind of interesting how they put that into the sand there. So it's not a pop-up that gets up in the way or something like that. It's very intrusive way to show what the trigger button does and i like that are all these going to raise up and try to attack me i don't know or maybe certain ones it looks like we don't have oh there's another one so it does look like only certain ones i wonder i have 163 hit points i wonder i really wonder how much i can do overall that's 41, that's pretty good. Or how much they're doing, 60. I also need to know how to heal too. 
It looks like I did a double attack there. After he hit me, I got to attack again. I'm not sure why that is, but that seemed to do stuff. But we also got some other options here. We got a bash. Okay, a stun. We could stun it. We could do an item or we could defend. That's kind of cool. I don't really want to try to stun it because a good defense is a good offense. So let's just go ahead and try to do another attack here. Almost, okay, we almost got it done. Ooh, that bow and again, that, that's a hard one. Let's go ahead and one more attack, I think will do it. That's pretty cool, I like it. And we got another victory there, that's cool. It looks like that bar all the way at the bottom, the blue bar may be our experience level bar. So we'll have to see what that does. Ooh, I grew to level six. Maybe not because that bar is not filled up. Interesting, and I learned sharp. I don't know what that does. We have not figured that out yet, but we are trying to explore this desert. I like that it kind of gives us a free roam here, but it's obviously also kind of pushing us towards what it's designed to funnel us in up this way. I wanna see what, hey, there we go. On to a new area, it looks like. And that, so far, those skeletons have all... The only thing that we've been fought against. And I'm hoping that we can find some more enemies here. Because I would be very interested to see what else is out there. And that looks like some whirlpools. I don't want to get sucked down into... Ooh, an oasis. Cool. I don't want to get sucked down into the sand. Oh, and a treasure chest. I like it. We always open the treasure chest. Found a high potion. Okay, cool. Can I, is there any, there doesn't seem to be any menu so far outside of combat. So we'll have to see if there is something later on that we could do. And I'm a little worried about these. Oh, uh oh, we're getting double teamed here. That's not good. I like the switch between the outside in the battle. That that little flash of the light is pretty cool. Now we got some two pretty big beetles here. It looks like I would. Oh shoot! I'm I'm almost tempted to do a strong attack on one of these, hoping that. Oh, when I missed, ah, that that didn't work out for us, did it? Antelions are a interesting desert animal in which they actually burrow, burrow down into the sand a little bit and have this cone shape uh, above them. And what happens is that an ant or something will get in that cone and it'll start flipping the sand out and it makes this little like sand slide so that the ant has or just falls down this cone in order to get attacked i guess or eaten or whatever but it's a very interesting animal and i think it's really cool that it just kind of stays in one place and waits for you to come to it wow i get i do get some kind of counter attacks here which i'm not sure what initiates the counter attack or why i get a counter attack sometimes but I have an ability now. What does Sharp do? Increase physical attack power of a single par party member for three turns. Okay, that's kind of cool. That would have been very useful at the beginning of this battle, but I think we got them done. There we go. We got a little bit more experience there. Let's see, we're gonna have to run by that probably or we're gonna get sucked down into it. I'm a little worried that we're gonna have to run. Oh, okay, can we run? What does A button do? I wonder, it's telling me to hit the A button. I really do like that. Huh, I'm, oh, there we go. So it's like a push or a shove. Okay, that's kind of cool. I like that. So it's gonna be like a physical interaction, maybe an interact button, I think. Oh no, wait a minute. Did Was that my mistake? <laughs> that was an awesome animation. Did I stay on that too long? I think that was supposed to do that. That's That was a really cool animation. I like that, him falling down through the sand like that. 
where are we now? It looks like we're in some kind of tunnel or dungeon system in which all of these, it looks like, yeah, all the sand traps, it seems, come down here. And now we're saying, oh, why? So, oh, okay. So there's my items. Uh, potion does 50% max HP to one party, 70 pi, okay. No weapons, no armor, and no key items. Wow, I got one ability, sharp so far, and I do got, okay, let's see personal. 25% if I could read, 25% chance of launching a counter attack, okay. So that's basically why we were counter attacking, and then a shield bash as well that's cool any equipment oh uh, yeah nothing major but we do have an option to go in here and equip and stuff optimize this is a very basic menu of early rpgs jrpgs i almost said final fantasy but i don't know if it's limited to final fantasy this is a really cool overall view that i don't think it's in very many early rpgs is this just overall it gives me my abilities my stats my experience my armor my level hp and ap i mean all in one screen right there is really cool i like that a lot so we got augments party options at save and exit game well i don't want to do any of that so let's head on forward. I wonder if there are certain places that I could do that or is it just whenever now? Okay, so whenever I want to now I can do that. That's cool. Guess we're heading up the ladder to see where we can go. Well, that's kind of cool. I wonder if we could fix that ladder. Oh, that was silly. Uh-oh. That looks like a big giant. Oh no, it's one of these guys. I was thinking it was something different. It looked like a lizard or something there. I'm, I'm curious if I want Omega strikes an enemy six times, then unleashes a powerful finisher. Wow, that's something pretty cool looking. Blade Storm. I think what we're gonna do is just go ahead and i've been hitting these pretty good so let's go ahead and do a, a strong and see if we can get a nice good critical on that right sweet he hurls a bone towards you i love that i love that interaction with the bone and the actual physical like it's almost like breaking the fourth wall there where it's coming out and hitting the screen and like cracking it a little bit that's really cool i like that quite a bit there we go we should get up to another level pretty soon. I don't think we were very far off. Status of me. Yeah, okay, 247 to the next level. So uh, maybe a couple more fights here. We will get another. Oh, there's another treasure chest. Another level. Found another potion. Okay, cool. I like that. That's going to help us out. I wonder what is our okay we're at max hp i was curious what hp we're at and what our max was head out the door so we should be out back yeah back out in the desert that's what i was exactly what i was thinking where it would put us kind of want to explore like when i have options like this i'll explore up this way a little bit but once i see that this is just like a plateau I'll come over here and explore this area just in case there was like a treasure chest over here or something or maybe one way down here that I just didn't see if I would have went only this way. So I like to explore both ways and you never know. You don't know it's a plateau. So maybe there is a, you know, a choice of which way to go there. I have a feeling that I'm going to fight a lot of these skeleton guys here in just a minute the desert ruins okay cool i think finally ha after all these weeks of searching i don't think i could bear another dead end just a little longer i promise trusting i only hope you'll forgive me when this is i'm i'm doing this for someone so i find this very interesting wow there's six of those guys 
That's... Whoa, what happened? It looked like they were going, will you be my friend? I don't know, who are you? <laughs> Who's there? Oh, sweet, we get a buddy, awesome. I was getting a little worried with six of those people coming out at me one, one time. There, you. Maybe we could take them with their two of us, but yeah, I'm a little, was a little worried there. Oh, wow. That's it. Want to support the project? Add 8-bit Avengers to your wish list. Okay. Well, that was quite interesting. A little demo there. A little shorter than I would have expected, but that was the prologue. I wonder if the dungeon will be any different. So let's explore the dungeon. On that, it did show three characters. I flipped through there pretty quickly. It does show the three characters. I bet those are the three. In 8-Bit Adventure, some characters are named by the player. Would you like to name them now? If not, they'll use generic titles like Warrior. Ah, no. So let's don't bother. I have mentioned this before. In some games, they always ask you to name somebody. And I really wish that, that right up to uh, off the bat that they would ask, do you want to name them? I don't want to name them. So yeah, so just go on. Skip that and I'll be happy. So there's the three characters that were kind of in that middle screen at the bottom. And I think these are the three people that we're going to be playing with when we when the the full game is ready. Charlie, whoa. What is going on? What the heck is this place? I don't know. We never saw anything like it the last time we were here. Well, wherever we are, there we go. That's the image I was talking about. So those are the three characters that we are going to play as, I guess. And that's, I like that image there. It's pretty neat little pixel graphics. Let's go on and see a processor a city. Okay. Well, this mentioned that it was a dungeon. So I'm curious how, where the dungeon is going to come in at that. I thought I hit the, uh oh. They're beating up somebody. We got to go save that guy. That's kind of, I want to know how the combat with multiple people work out. So that's kind of cool that we're already going to be, and it's neat that they put the demo instead of just getting the first prologue and then that's the demo. They actually worked on different areas of the game and put that in the demo. So you can get a more feel overall for the game. And I like that. So we've got Warrior Thief and Charlie Battle, Battle Basics right off the bat that I have a problem with is that your people are facing you. I don't know why, but in they should be facing the enemies in my opinion. Okay, so basically, yeah, the turn order is on the right. That's basically what we, we do. So this is going through all this stuff because it didn't kind of give us that intro that the prologue was letting us know. So this is giving us kind of an overview of everything. I'm hoping that this is not in the final game because that's a little much right at one time. Okay, so let's, I think the thief is gonna attack, but I'm steal an item from the enemy. That's cool. What is her ability? So first aid, poison dart. Tag team. What is Thief and Charlie steal from attack? Okay. Haste. Okay. Agility. A piercing strike that annoys the enemy's personal defense, maybe? This cannot be missed. And then Shield's Love. Okay. Let's try Poison Dart. I, will, I think that would be kind of cool. Let's try that out and see if we can poison him. Okay. So he's poisoned. Awesome. <laughs> Let's hopefully we can do a little bit better here. Now, who is attacking dual hit two random targets with 50% attack power? There's also 
attack all enemies can inflict broken sealed so that's someone else's maybe charlie's omega yeah i think this is charlie what is his abilities double slash that's cool dodge okay parry hmm. oh that's interesting a lucky lucky shot 300 percent damage interesting see if it, cleave a single enemy's defenses in two lowering yeah that's kind of there's some very interesting skills here that i i would say would be very impressive i'm going to try this omega and see exactly how that works out oh wow that's a lot of damage on everybody Woo! that's pretty cool i like that so some people it appears no, that's their turn and it should be warriors turn now and it uh, looks like we only get a one omega there because now we don't have another omega do we get any other special remedy okay eye drops blind okay so this is basic to summon a giant boulder <laughs> i gotta i gotta see that so this is basic like your potions your phoenix down your yeah very very standard rpg fair except for this yeah we're gonna do the pebbles dude <laughs> i love that giant pebble fell on him that's hilarious okay let's just get there where we go that's awesome i love this very impressed here i would like to see more of this game hey are you all right yeah okay start with the computer it's interesting that usually in an rpg it taught it's, it's in a time of like a medieval kind of time magic maybe a little bit of like dnd token stuff kind of thing token I, token i'm gonna get probably <laughs> a lot of comments on that token s kind of era but they're talking about computers so it's more of a now time so i'm interested in how that's going to be incorporated here oh yeah uh-oh robot and we got uh more enemies acceptable parameters i shall fight along oh so we got a robot now too that's pretty cool i like that I do not require appreciation. It is my function to eliminate all irregularities. Interesting. They are here. Oh gosh, we got a tank to deal with now. That's not cool. Let's take a robot is a unique party member rather than using abilities, attacks or personal skill. It can equip special commands. This makes it limited, but also powerful. It doesn't even use AP or MP swap use the command to swap party members in and out of battle it doesn't waste a turn to swap whenever you want interesting okay okay oh let's see what we want to do so we can swap someone out i'm not sure i don't know what would be a good choice to do here let's just a tag you know what let's see what can we swap out robot because deals magic damage plus 25 percent chance of mute which restores 15 percent okay boost one party members okay kind of cool interesting so let's just try laser here on the you know what these clockwork soldiers were pretty easy to take out so we want to take out the the guys that we could take out easily first i think i mean so that's one person oh we missed it that's one person that's not attacking us and that's kind of what i was hoping for okay let's do a normal attack on the clockwork soldier there we go we got one of them out which is good now i'm curious I could do laser again. That was very impressive. I liked that. So let's go ahead and see what we could do about getting him down. Now he's muted. Typically mute means that they can't 
cast spells, but I'm not sure. It doesn't do much here. Oh, the tank shoots all of us. Ouch. That was, that was a pretty hard hit here. I want to do something that's going to... Something that's going to be really 70% chits broken on all enemies reducing their P date by half There's some pretty interesting attacks here. I gotta say let's go ahead and do a strong attack Hopefully I hit and I missed unfortunately who are we let's uh, two random targets. That's not gonna help us much Let's do a double slash on him And hopefully that will be able to do a lot of damage sweet Ouch. Okay, we, we got a return here. I'm gonna go Ray of Energy, which restores 15 HP to the party. Let's go ahead and do that. Help me out a little bit there. I gotta say, I'm, I'm impressed. I, it's not exactly what I was expecting, but it's definitely a well done game. I was, I like what they've done with the mechanics and everything. They've definitely stepped up and did a lot of things to separate the game out to their own idea and processing and everything having robots and computers in a jrpg and again maybe final fantasy has came a long way since the ones i've played but this is kind of a different turn from you know a typical rpg as i know it so that's very interesting I am okay. So the robot is an exterminator the last one Interesting it is irrelevant The glitch is all that matters if the computer allowed you to come here. It is logical that we share the same orders Wow, but yeah We're here to stop the glitch interesting So there is a computer and a glitch that we're going to have to fight against which is very cool and interesting Northwest of our current location. Okay, well, let's head up all that way. I think however, that's going to be robot join the party. Well, that's good We're gonna check out kind of you can change the party members anytime by using the party command in the menu I'd like to check the people out a little bit So I uh, we will save and maybe we'll come back to this after we do this little run of demos I know there's not a lot here, but there's still probably more that we can explore so let's go ahead and save real quick what i wanted to see is the statuses of the robot so he has magical shield and mechanical are his two personal skill abilities which is cool so he gets experience and levels up as well as everything everybody else let's see status on a charlie so he has a lot of different things. There's different weapons that we can look at. The dual strike is nice. The cross guard looks interesting too. Blocks enemies attacks and it reflects 20% of the damage. That would be very useful sometimes. And then we could switch out our change. We could switch out. Let's do robot for thief. Just kind of switching her out. I want to see what her status is and kind of Oh, okay, so we can go through them here. I didn't realize that There we go. So a dagger. Okay, interesting Get a boost of speed at the start of the battle. That's nice and the steal an item is what She can do. Well, there's definitely a, a lot of interesting stuff here and a lot to do I'm very impressed with what they're doing so far And I think that's going to be the end of the episode. We checked it out a little bit Maybe we'll do another one at the end of this little mini series and see if we can figure out some of the other stuff Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it and I will see you all next time. Bye everybody